All right, so as you can see, I don't know if I mentioned in the last video, but I did attach the spout and how it is level with the top, goes on the side, and I've attached the handle now. Um, and you wanna make sure that they are directly across from one another, no curves in the handle. I can adjust that a little bit now that it's dried. And you just wanna make sure that like a few fingers fit through there. There's not like a huge gaping space that comes way out cause that, you know, it's just gonna be really weird when you try to pour it cause these could be functional. Um, also mine's still not as firm as it should be um, cause I'm kind of trying to rush a little bit here but you can see inside the pot how it's not a perfect circle, but I did my best considering I was using a butter knife. If you have box cut or something, if I were at school, I'd be using an X-Acto knife and I would have traced a perfect circle and done it all that way. But you can see how I carved the indent in here and then there's the hole where you pour the water in. So when you put the lid on, which I have attached a handle to, it's not functional yet, obviously, until it dries because I just slipped it and scored it on there or until it's fired, I mean, because it's still a little delicate. I didn't, you can't really pull it up from the handle because the handle would come off. Um, but you can see that the lid fits right in place. Ta-da! Like so. So the only thing is when you let your pot dry, you don't want to leave the lid in because if the pot shrinks or it's, you know, damp wherever you are, um, it could seal inside and then you would never get the lid off. So you wanna make sure that you let them dry um, together. Now I, I mean not together, separate. So I made sure that the lid fit in really loosely because these are going to shrink. Obviously this lid will shrink as well, but I'd rather it be a little loose than not fit in at all. So make sure it comes in and out very easily. Obviously right now it doesn't because the clay is still sticky. Um, but it shouldn't be like you have to squeeze it in there because um, then when it dries, it won't fit. So leave a little extra space for your lid. So if I wanted to at this point, um, I could make a footer for it, but I'm pretty happy with how it is. I don't think it needs a footer necessarily. It's, it stands pretty well, it's not wobbly at all. So I'm just gonna leave it without a footer just because it, you know, not by not adding a footer, it will also keep the whole weight of the pot um, down a little bit because if the more clay you add on the heavier your pot will be so that is basically it and that is your teapot and if you wanted to at this point you could carve designs in the side um, you could wait and glaze it later um, after it's fired glaze a design on it that way totally up to you um, is this teapot perfect no it is not did I make it in one day? Heck yes, I did. <laughs> so um, I hope that you can manage to make it at home as well. It doesn't have to look like mine, like I said. If you wanted to try a coil pot version instead, if you um, you know, wanted to do a square teapot and use slabs for the whole thing like we built our houses with, that's totally fine too. Totally up to you. Just wanted to throw this option out there and um, happy building.